you guys so we're going to get into this honest trailers from screen junkies this is going to be for the mandalorian season two guys so uh we're going to go ahead and get into this trailer mandalorian season two baby honest trailers fresh from disney's content mines in outer burbankia come season two of a show that's either the greatest thing we've ever seen or live action star wars has lowered our expectations so much basic competence feels like seeing the face mm. of god it's glorious that's the real, mandalorian though. season two suit up for more mandalorian the show that combined the world of star wars the feel of old samurai films yeah. and the emotional core of reddit's r slash all <laughs> community oh ah. in a winning mix that keeps things simple and doesn't overstay its welcome mm. so you can be sure as sith they'll launch enough spin-offs to kill the magic for good no, next year no. you know there's a reason we don't eat birthday cake every day disney keep feeding us the same thing and we mm. will reject it Unless it's Marvel, or animated musicals, or Pixar movies about giving up on your dreams. Okay, fine, <laughs> you win. Stuff my mouth full of cake, Mouse Daddy. <laughs> Rejoin the Mandalorian, the galaxy's most dangerous never knew. Mm -hmm. But this time, he'll break his only rule about yeah. giving face as he quests to deliver this tiny meme generator over <laughs> to a Jedi, all while bonding ever deeper with Baby Yoda over their shared love of murder. <laughs> 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 for sure, yeah, for sure. And yes, we know his name isn't technically Baby Yoda anymore. Grogu? But let's yeah, stick let's with Baby Yoda. Grogu. I like Grogu. Baby Yoda. Grogu. Baby Yoda. Grogu. He's the secret love child of Yoda and Yaddle, okay? Clap them cheeks, Yoda. Dude. Clap them cheeks. <laughs> Are you ready to watch some space cops make some deals with each other? Then you'll thrill when Mando makes a deal with this marshal. Help me kill it, I'll give you the armor. Deal. And strikes a deal with the Tusken Raiders for help. We have struck a deal. But when a deal goes wrong on the way to finding a Jedi. Lady, the deal is off. This was not part of the deal. He'll try to forge a deal with some fellow Mandalorians. They're changing the terms of the deal. And cut a quick deal with Ming-Na. I owe you from last time. We have a deal. Before he wraps up that deal with her and Boba Fett, then our deal is complete. That's in addition to any bargains, promises, or propositions he'll make a along the way. A lot of deals in this Strike a bargain. You made me a promise, and I held up my end. I have a proposition that may interest you. And then what's in it for me? Screw credits. The real currency of Star Wars is the, yeah, pinky, the pinky square. square. Remember all the interesting and original side characters you met last season. They're back. At least for now. <laughs> but they'll make room for all new faces. And by new, I mean really old. Like the most popular characters from the Clone War series, the most popular character from Empire Strikes Back, and the most popular character from Star Wars. It's official. No one in Star Wars gets to die or retire anymore. This season's most meaningful death was when they killed off a merchandising opportunity. Ah, man, dude. Oh, no, yeah. my collectible! <laughs> So enjoy this action packed that was journey me for sure. alongside a hardened killer that was me with a heart sure. of gold and a soft baby with a heart of darkness as Favro and Filoni deliver the second best Star Wars experience ever made for television. But you all know what's still number yeah. one. Oh, the Clone Wars. Uh, no, no, uh, not yeah. Clone Wars. Not Rebels. No, it, it, not Rebels. The holiday special. I'm talking about the intro to the oh. droids cartoon. Come on. <laughs> Trouble again. Oh man, that's such a pop. Starring Daft Hog. Huh? My, my buddy, buddy. My buddy. Wherever I go, he goes. Ranger of the New Republicans. Dawson's, Dawson's Geek. Geek. Princess Leia. Agents of Shan. Lone Wolf mm -hmm. with Club. Moff Diver. Darkness. No parents. 
Red Sox leader, Red Sox standing, leader by. standing by. Ew. Yeah, yeah. 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 Stormtroopers giving themselves away. Yeah, I, I wish the stormtroopers were a little more competent. Especially if you're going to use them as a consistent threat, they, they have to be a threat. <laughs> Beskar. Beskar's value continues to rise. Others with Beskar have been through here. The Beskar belongs to the Mandalorians. It cannot cut through pure Beskar. <laughs> Beskar is ours. Beskar. Beskar. Pure Beskar. Unreasonably convenient maps and blueprints. Yeah. This is a map of Tatooine before the war. You got Mos Eisley, Mos Espa, and up around this region, Mos Pelgo. But We're that's here. just to, to give us maps of wh where where they are but and what's going on. The the they know what the fans enjoy that run? type of stuff. Yeah, it's the uh, refinery right there. They're held in cold storage in this cargo bay. But th the, the maps scale. are I think it <laughs> convenient. It can't be this too big. If your 98 Civic hatchback was a spaceship. Yeah. Yeah. But I missed the uh, Razor Crest. I, I hope they bring it back. Not not the original. Obviously, they can't bring the original Razor Crest back. But I, I would like for him to get another Razor Crest. But this time, he's going to customize it the way he wants it. My kills other droids in the guard. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Luke. The Masked Slinger. The mass slinger. Says here you're from Alderaan. Did you lose anyone? <laughs> uh, yeah, Chief. I'm gonna guess you did. Hey, it's oh, that man. guy from the Apex Legends trailer. The llama here. Llamas are nature's greatest. So, uh, pretty, pretty good. Uh, very enjoyable. They uh, did hit on some very good points. Uh, again, with the stormtroopers, everyone knows this is the uh, stormtroopers have just become uh, just uh, objects to to be uh, shot down and 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 not really a threat. Um, I would like to see that change, uh, just so they don't have to lean so heavily on something like the dark troopers or uh, something else to be more of a threat. It'd be nice if the stormtroopers became uh, a suitable threat. Um, you know, it's not about necessarily killing characters off, uh, but you can have characters suffer injuries. Uh, the Mandalorian can suffer injuries. Uh, John Wick, as, as through all the killing that he does in his movies, he suffers some injuries uh, with all the fighting that he does. Um, so you can have Mando get injured here or there. He gets, it, it, there can be times where the best guard doesn't necessarily save him and he gets shot. Uh, takes a takes a blaster to the side, you know, but uh, of course all of his vital organs are protected He so. would be less likely to receive a fatal shot uh, But you, you can have those times where he he can uh, just be wounded. some sort of way of fashion They actually did a good job of that in the first season where uh, he was wounded by Moff Gideon and uh, but he he quickly uh, recovered uh, from his uh, his wounds and was able to uh, Actually fight Moff Gideon later on uh, in that same day. So um, it, it just would be nice if they would uh, mix it up a little bit and make the threats more threatening and and make the danger uh, a little bit more threatening uh, for our hero. So um, definitely uh, agree with Screen Junkies on, on that note. But of course, this is all uh, done in humor. Um, surprised that they didn't say anything about uh, restoring Luke Skywalker uh, to uh, his rightful place or, or, or bringing Luke Skywalker back from where, where The Last Jedi took him. Uh, I think that would have been a good little jab uh, to take at Disney um, and, and might have been a little funny. I'm surprised they didn't do that. But it, it, uh, anyway, it's, it, it still uh, was pretty and good. And of course, I love the way that they made light of the uh, conversation between the public uh, X-Wing pilot and uh, Cara Dune regarding Alderaan. Uh, I, I'm, I, I thought it was funny that they made light of that. Of course, everyone made jokes about that when the uh, episode initially aired. Uh, it was kind of cool to see uh, context put with that uh, thought with the, the Alderaan being blown up. That Just that visual 
uh, with, with that uh, concept was really, really funny. I thought that was hilarious. Uh, but yeah, really, really cool. I love these trailers from Screen Junkies because uh, it, not only are they hilarious, but it does point out some uh, simple truths about uh, what you may have seen in your favorite show. So I thought it was really, really great. And a great job by Screen Junkies, guys. But let me know what you thought about uh, this particular uh, Screen Junkies trailer, guys. Uh, what, what did you think about what they had to say, guys? Let me know and put those comments down below. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And of course, guys, from the Father to the Son to the OB1 Force Ghost. May the force be with you always.